Hey all my fellow and soon to be maniacs out there, it's your favorite webcomic creator and animator, The Chainsaw Maniac, here with another episode or edition of Coffee and Chainsaws, where I sit down, I bamble, I talk a bunch of crap, or I just inform you of what I've done over the past week and what's to come. So if you guys enjoy the content that I do and you would like to see more, I suggest you head on down to that like button as well as subscribe and ring that notification bell to be notified of any other content I do on this channel. So what has happened over this past week? Well, yeah, so over the past week i've been freaking busy man with some animation work um and last week uh well not last week but last week's stream i guess i did some animation and i didn't get a chance to finish it because low shedding for those of you who don't know what low shedding is it's basically power outages throughout south africa and it's kind of like scheduled power outages because who knows why they do it that's been happening and so last week's stream was started very late because i had to handle that shit so that happened and we started a bit late so i didn't get time to actually finish the animation but i guess i wouldn't have finished it in the stream because i did complicate things and so it was insane i'm working on it in the back as you guys are watching this video and i actually managed to finish about two scenes there is maybe a few more scenes but i think i'll cut it short and just you know keep those two scenes at the ready and just you know that's the thing you know what i'm saying it's basically the scene is like a guy just running it was supposed to be following a prompt where basically if i can remember the prompt was a mad scientist is hunting in a frozen or on a frozen planet something like that so basically i had this idea that there's this frozen planet where these frozen people you know live basically and one of them has escaped his lab and it was like kind of one of his experiments that he worked on and has escaped his lab and he's chasing after this guy and this guy's running for his life you know what i'm saying and then as soon as a scientist guy like flies up behind him and chops his head off you know that's where the animation ends but obviously i didn't get that far because i kind of shot too far i think moving forward for those animations uh if i ever decide to do a animation stream again uh, i think this week's stream might be another animation stream and so maybe i will use that time to finish this animation but i feel like i might actually work on my comic in that time so we'll see how that goes uh whichever i decide but moving forward if i ever decide to do another animation challenge thing you know for like one stream basically the challenge was to finish the animation within a single stream which is like five to six hours to do a full-on animation scene so next time i'll just start small and do one scene rather than doing like four or five different scenes you know what i'm saying and put it all together into like one animation so yeah next time i will keep that in mind and not complicate things way too much which is very weird because i usually my mind usually simplifies things very well but i don't know i think it was all the power outages and all the stuff just made my brain went you know it just like went wherever it went also you know i've been dropping some polls if you guys have seen it um and i've been talking and i've been chatting on a discord and i was thinking of maybe doing some power scaling i think on this channel with a special guest and uh you guys can guess who that is but yeah we're gonna do some power scaling on the channel for webtoon mostly for webtoon original web comics so yeah we'll be power scaling them you know basically what power scaling is for those of you who don't know is basically uh figuring out how strong a character is based on the feats and actual within the comic as well as the power systems and however they use their various powers or abilities and how they would actually do like in a battle against another character within the series or most of the time it's done you know cross series so yeah we're gonna see how that goes that's one of the things that i enjoy doing so it will be fun you know and as well as i get to do the thing that i don't normally do which is a read original webtoon comic but so far most of them has been absolute shit so <laughs> yeah this might give me a more of an incentive to actually read the comics and go through them it's not actually just reading them like when you power scaling you're gonna go through statements and like comb through them basically looking for anything that can add to the various abilities of the character and how strong they are and the various feats they have calculations you know it can get really wild very insane very nerdy like but it's also pretty cool so yeah that's gonna be fun yeah if that gains enough traction we might do other various webtoon canvas series and actually at the same time it will actually gain some traction for that creator as well which will be helpful for them in the future you know what i'm saying yeah so that's coming up on the channel i don't know when that 
that video will come up because we still have to do the research obviously and go through all the stuff and actually read the entire webcomic i'm not sure if we're gonna read season one two and then you know three separately and then scale them based on the seasons i put a poll up for you guys so you guys can vote on it but we thought it would make sense to actually start with the most famous series which is tower of god as well as uh unordinary the main two characters from those so one of them will start with first and basically if we start with one of them we will start with that series first so maybe within the series there's characters that has various abilities and maybe in the series there's fights that didn't take place but many other people who are into the series might have enjoyed actually seeing various characters within the series fight and we might actually put them up against each other you know and i said i would go more into the animation side of things as well but you know moving forward you know i've gained a lot of traction using actually webtoon's name and i think i'm gonna continue that part because you know the community is pretty cool everyone's pretty cool and you know get a lot of views and stuff like that so <laughs> i'm moving towards that side um so basically the live streams will be like the wild west like i'll just do whatever i feel like on the live streams and then throughout the channel will just be various webtoon topics or webcomic topics basically uh maybe animation topics here and there or maybe you know tips from the industry and stuff like that you know because i am a professional animator and uh i feel like every now and then dropping some things that i've learned within the industry will be you know beneficial to those creators out there who maybe want to learn how to get into the industry or want to know uh, certain tips or tricks on how i got there what do you need stuff like that you know so basically whatever's best for the channel at the time i'll do that but still staying within the niche of animation and web comics and basically entertainment itself as well so yeah we're gonna see how that goes so far it's going pretty well my channel's growing pretty much it's actually picking up pretty well now you know it's actually beginning to pick up a bit more than it did back in the day at first it like had this very steep increase and then it dropped a bit in the middle but now it's increased again because i think i'm i'm being more consistent with the topics uh how i set up my videos and stuff like that it's, it's just adding more to the consistency and actually uploading within a certain time frame because because when you upload a lot you can actually go to your analytics on youtube and actually see which is the best time and when your actual the people who watch your videos are actually up and stuff like that so you can actually gauge when to actually upload and when would be the best time to upload so i think that also is helping me because i'm kind of figuring out the youtube algorithm and how exactly it works i'm using that to my benefit and it's actually bearing its fruits as we can see you know i'm having a lot of people seeing my channel you know it's very weird you know my channel isn't that big but everyone within my circle or community knows more or less who i am which is very weird <laughs> it's it's so weird like because you know andy burn friend of the channel or you know mitch friend of the channel those guys you know they uh will like mention my name or they'll mention a video about me or something i've talked about you know within their videos and then people's like oh yeah that guy i know that guy but i didn't know he had a youtube channel and then <laughs> they come over here and then they subscribe and stuff like that so it's pretty cool you know andy burns really if you guys haven't actually watched any of andy burns videos i suggest you do she's blowing up pretty well if you guys are within the webtoon community i think you would enjoy her content she does pretty cool stuff over there also we're almost halfway through september which means we're almost close to the end of the call to action uh, contest i know uh the homie minsky could not actually enter the contest he didn't have time uh for those who don't know minsky is i suggest you check out his channel as well i think he posted a new video i didn't actually watch it because i didn't have time but i remember now but um yeah he also has a channel you can check it out it's pretty big so if you guys haven't heard of him uh, and if you heard of me i mean i don't know so yeah go ahead and support those creators if you enjoy the content you know why don't you go ahead and subscribe to their channels i guess <laughs> and support them in any way shape or form you can go ahead and do so if you guys want to support me you know links all in the description down below you know it's right there you know you can just head down there and check out my comics and stuff and various other stuff but going back to the call to action contest it is ending at the end of september at least the judging period will be ending which means we will be getting the results of who won who didn't win uh honorable mentions yada yada you know that's all happening at the end of september and no one knows what the call to action contest is because webtoon just didn't advertise it so no one knows what the hell it is no one knows what's going on it's been completely silent this for this entire month has been so silent and quiet on the contest side i don't know <laughs> what is going on like what is 
even going on with that contest like i don't understand like in the beginning like when i first heard about it like you can check my channel my video got like so much views people actually i think learned from the contest mostly from my video my video and i'm not even a big youtuber most people learned about it from my video which is very interesting and i heard about it how did i hear about it i think i just actually went on webtoon one day and saw the call to action banner clicked on it and there's a contest <laughs> Like, I, I don't know, like, but I think I was one of the first people to hear or see the contest. And it was by accident. Like, I just stumbled across it and I made a video on it. And even though my video, I think at at this point, it's probably like around 5k views, uh, that video that I put out. Which means, like, for my video, like, at least around 5k people saw it and were interested in the contest. But um, maybe we chopped it down in half. Maybe some people just enjoy watching Webtoon content. So maybe, like, let's say at least 2,000 people heard about it who are creators and want to enter the contest wow and actually thinking about it there were only 3,000 and something entries to this contest right which means most of those entries <laughs> Just, just thinking about it now because when the contest started thinking about it now i uploaded my entry at the end of no it was the beginning of july i finished my entry at the end of may and then i posted it at the beginning of june because i had so much freaking time like i uh <laughs> it took me like a month to finish it but like actually not because i was still doing i was still working within that time i was still doing everything i could like i worked like on three panels a day or something like i took my time with it you know what i'm saying if i had to really push myself i could have finished that entry like in a freaking week putting that entry out you know i took my time with it because i had so much time we had like three months two months maybe because they mentioned it in the beginning of may so we had like two months within those two months looking back now there was absolutely no advertising but no one knew anything about it the only people who knew about it was in our discord and like because i mentioned it like what the hell i'm so intrigued to see what's gonna happen at the end of this month i'm so intrigued to see who the winners are going to be because i'm i have this feeling within you know there's, there's something fishy going on here this i know there's something going on because the way they went about it is really sus and i don't like i've said there's something going on there's something more that i'm not seeing here you know what it feels like it feels like webtoon doesn't want to give away the money <laughs> it's like you know what it is okay this is the theory right this is the theory actually what if webtoon had the money right they were about to release the contest they were about to do the contest right they were like yeah we're gonna do this thing that's gonna be so cool we're gonna have all the creators make this cool content we're gonna we're gonna dish out these prizes and then what if covid got really bad maybe webtoon wasn't doing well financially right maybe they weren't doing well financially and then and, you know maybe they were like okay guys i think we should just not mention the contest and keep the money and actually use it to pay off our debts or something like that right and then and then i dropped the video like hell yeah guys there's a contest coming webtoon a call to action you know guys head over there you know enter 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 it's the first time to do action you know enter that shit and then they were like oh fuck this guy this guy just put out the video oh shit okay guys don't don't panic just just cover up cover up the call to action cover it up just pretend it doesn't exist pretend this guy only has like what like 200 200 subscribers no one's gonna see it okay just cover it up slowly cover it up yes no one's gonna notice and then maybe you know some prominent creator saw my video you know it could happen you know the algorithm and everything <laughs> and they saw uh whipped Call to action what is this and they probably searched it up maybe they didn't actually click on my video but they they saw it and they were like webtoon call to action and they searched it up and they realized oh there's a contest going on maybe that's what happened maybe that's what happened i don't know all i know is there's something fishy going on guys keep an eye out let's see what happens at the end of september maybe we get some interesting result something interesting will happen you know an interesting surprise from webtoon i'm really excited to see who gets the 50k the 30k and the 20k is it and all those 4ks as well all together like webtoon i think is giving away like what like what's it a hundred thousand dollars so they give him basically away over a hundred k yeah so maybe you know they decided you know uh you know maybe we shouldn't give it away that's crazy to think about like if they actually thought that but i you know what did i know i'm not really that smart so you know what i'm saying i'm not business savvy i don't know what's going on there. you know as dumb as we would like to think webtoon or maybe you know they they they're pretty sly with the decisions they're making you know you know maybe they have something up to see but so far you guys know i've been on like a con 
contest and challenge binge i've been just making up my own contest my own challenges as well on my own time um doing my own thing you know it's pretty fun pretty interesting i'm also also i, I want to make this clear to everyone if you have entered the contest your entries are locked okay so don't you can't upload anymore not at the moment that's why my series is on hold at the moment uh kill all heroes so those of you wondering hey when is chains gonna upload a new episode it's on hold okay i can't upload because this, the damn series is locked if you guys want to see more you can check out Dilly Hub. my series is on there still ongoing so you can check it out in Dilly Hub. Uh, the episodes are still falling in there um i haven't uploaded actually this episode in quite some time now because i'm busy really busy with animation work on my side so i didn't have the time to do that that will come out episode six is almost done i think i need like to finish up like 10 more panels which i hopefully i can do tonight or tomorrow night or at the end of this week if not you know so we'll see how that goes they're really kicking off um we're halfway through season one for kill all heroes as well uh because i'm only doing 12 episodes for season one and then season two will be around about more or less the same so yeah i'm doing shorter seasons as well which is really cool because then i can like do the whole thing take a break do another season take a break do another season so within those breaks i can do my own thing you know uh, just uh freeze up time on my side as well uh i know i said i would return to do the merchant of ignatius sometime but at the moment i don't feel like continuing that series uh, although i do want to continue it. i still enjoy the merchant of ignatius the characters i made was pretty cool i really enjoy the characters i made uh there's still a whole story that still has to be told there and it's such a cool story that i i want to actually finish it i just don't feel like fantasy at the moment that's the only reason i haven't actually continued with it but maybe one day you know i was kind of thinking and let me know what you guys think about this idea i was thinking of adapting my merchant of ignatius series i was thinking about adapting it into a manga and posting it somewhere else uh just because it would be much easier because i've done a manga for the silent manga contest i realized that manga is much it's just actually much faster and uh, maybe it's also a studio because i have noticed this uh in blender as much as i love the software uh it's perfect for animation but in terms of making comics it's just so limiting because with clip studio not only i wouldn't say i'm faster in terms of drawing in clip studio but in terms of finishing my artwork it just it's much easier because there's so much variety of brushes and tools that makes things so much easier you know the line work just the, the the way the brush works in clip studio is, is meant for drawing that's what it's meant for like drawing painting it's just meant for that and so so moving forward i'm updating my workflow again usually what i would do is so usually what i'll do is i'll make my panels in blender then bring it into clip studio and then set it up there but what if and I think this is going to be actually much faster. I think I'm going to create the backgrounds in Blender still. Um, I'm going to do the rough line work in Blender. So that way I know where the characters are going to be and stuff like that. So that way I have a good structural basis and as well as composition for the panels. And then I just finish it up in Clip Studio. I think that's going to actually be much faster than actually doing it all in Blender. Because what happens with Blender is like the line work isn't as good because it's meant for animation. It's not meant for actually finishing line work and when it comes to cleaning up your line work in blender it does take it's more time consuming than actually cleaning up your line work in clip studio because clip studio actually has the tools needed uh, for the faster pacing you know cleaning up your artwork you know what i'm saying but with blender it's more animation based which makes sense you know it's an animation program you know so i'm still trying to figure out a way to merge the two because together they're really a very interesting combination that also makes things so much easier because with blender i make the backgrounds much easier and much faster and then with clip studio when it comes to the artwork and finalizing and completing it just makes the finishing work so much easier you know than with blender because with blender because with blender you don't have that much variety with tools in terms of like the gradient and the brush strokes and all that type of thing which um you know you don't really need but for a certain style or stylistic choices that i'm making because there's certain stuff stylistically that i want to do but i can't because it's gonna take more time than actually using the brushes in clip studio you know what i'm saying and it's not like i'm using it as a crutch it's just i know i can do it much faster using certain brush sets so you know i'm going ahead and kind of evening out this workflow a bit more because mostly it's been blender it's been 90 percent blender 10 percent clip studio like i think i should actually level it out 
50% Blender, 50% Clip Studio. With Blender, you get the powerful 3D, you know, and shaders stuff that I can actually do in Blender to actually make backgrounds and stuff so much easier because setting up backgrounds in Blender for me takes like five minutes. You know what I'm saying? Whereas if I had to do it in Clip Studio and I've tried it, I've actually tried it before with actually 3D assets in Clip Studio. It takes forever. It's so slow. It's just not meant for like that type of navigation or that type of workflow as like Blender would be with 3D because that's what Blender is proficient in and not only 3D animation itself. So like there's certain aspects of that that I can only use very well with Blender and Blender is actually much better at handling those aspects within Blender. Clip Studio is best used for finishing up my artwork. So I think I'm going to do that 50-50, you know, you know, balanced as everything should be you know what i'm saying great man once said that before he wiped half of existence out you know that's what i'm doing moving forward i'm updating my process cleaning up some kinks here and there because for those of you who don't know i am planning to do a blender clip studio workflow for comics you know what i'm saying like all i'm trying to do is basically figuring out the most proficient way and the fastest way to actually finish up panels and a comic layout in terms of making comics you know trying to figure out the best ways to do that using a powerful software like blender as well as Clip Studio, two very powerful softwares. But not only are they powerful, but for their power, they are very well priced. Blender is absolutely free. You get everything with Blender free, free, free. Everything is free. There's add ons, all sorts of crazy stuff you can do in Blender. I know Clip Studio has gone to their own weird subscription side, but the version one Clip Studio is still like, it's still OP as hell. So, like, I'm keeping that version and I'm not changing it. I'm keeping that version. I'm not going to this weird weird subscription services i've actually read up more on the clip studio subscription service it's not as like it's not going to be like adobe adobe subscription service to be honest with you it's actually way better than what the, the model they have you know and my theirs might be cheaper but like because like adobe it's like a, just once off subscription service and you have access to everything whereas clip studio and they have this weird like it's almost like a battle pass thing so it's so weird like i don't know what <laughs> they're thinking and they're gonna lose a lot of people with that although maybe like studios and companies they they will use it more and they don't give a fuck like what the pricing is but for more individual creators they're gonna lose out a lot there so yeah I, i'm sticking to version one version one has worked fine it has everything i need i don't need anything else besides what i have and i can do a lot with what i have and also you know there are things that i need with Clip studio i can always use blender to fill in the gaps you know what i'm saying two powerful softwares for two different aspects it's really becoming a really interesting workflow you know i'm finding it really cool it's very interesting especially now with blender's geometry nodes stuff you know that's so insane uh you can build like cities in a matter of seconds like it's literally that insane so you know it's really moving forward this is to be so cool not to mention this ai stuff coming so in the future i know blender will maybe adapt some sort of ai system in the future because blender like like blender has add-ons for days you know some guy in the basement just like will make an add-on post it on the you know internet and then everyone can use three on blender you know so like in the future i can definitely see them being some sort of like ai that can really like make blender even more powerful than what it is so yeah this is gonna be interesting it's a really interesting time guys yeah so don't forget we are gonna do some more power scaling on this channel um that's gonna be the new series i'm planning to release maybe whenever i can because it is a bunch of research that i have to do you know i live stream every saturday at 9 p.m sast which is i don't even care what time zone it is just make sure you're there <laughs> Make sure your asses are there, okay? Just make sure your asses are there. So yeah, you guys can check out the links to every social media I have or any other links to everything I have down in the description down below. And to be on the lookout for anything else I do on this channel, this is your second reminder to hit that like button, subscribe as well as ring that notification bell. And don't forget to leave a comment on what you think or what your thoughts are down below. Um, on any other questions you may have whether it's an animation question or webcomic question i am a professional animator so if you guys want to know anything about the animation industry let me know and otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye guys